Tech. In this video, I'm going to go do a teardown of a cathode ray tube TV, also known as a CRT TV. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm just simply going to go and unscrew all of the screws. Okay, so now we are inside, and this right here is the flyback transformer. what I'm going to do is carefully take my pliers and pull off the suction cup of the flyback transformer. Next, I'm going to go and take an alligator clip, connect it to this screw, and I'm going to take this screw and plug it into the ground wire of this wall socket. That way I know for sure it's connected to ground. Take this other end of the alligator clip and then touch it to this part of the flyback transformer to discharge it. Because if you get if you touch this with your bare hands, you'd actually get pretty well shocked. And now I'm touching it, and there, it is safe to touch. And now let's go a little deeper and continue tearing this down. And there we go, we have the screen removed. Next, I'm gonna go onto the circuit board and desolder all of the components. I'm gonna start with the flyback transformer first. And there you have it. I have now desoldered the flyback transformer. Can't wait to start using this in future projects. This is going to be really fun. Now, let's begin and desolder all of the components off from the circuit board. And there you have it, it is now complete. I have removed all the parts that I wanna remove. I have this pile here of all the components and heatsink. I have screws, that are always useful, and this flyback transformer. I can definitely use this for future projects. Very exciting. And a simple speaker, and this screen. I didn't bother taking it apart completely because there's still wires and parts on there that I may use later in the future and to salvage later. So I'll just keep that for something else. And the housing of this television. I'm actually going to keep this housing and use it for something else. I think I might turn it into a terrarium or something, or maybe to put a plant inside, or maybe even put a fish inside and make this in, turn this into a TV fish tank. I don't know, I might do something creative with this. Because it's a pretty good shell and it's pretty hollow inside. It can definitely be useful for something. Not sure what, but I'll think of something. And here are all of the electrical components that I have salvaged from this television. All of these I can actually use for future projects and do some interesting things with or to add it to other circuits to make other circuits work. I have right here these high voltage MOSFETs that was attached to that heatsink. You can definitely use these for high voltage circuits. Probably to use a some type of driver to control a Tesla coil or maybe to con control a flyback transformer or something like that. Definitely use that for something. And this up here, integrated circuit, use that for something. I have to look at the serial number. And here's another IC. Could definitely use that for something. I'm not sure what, but I'll figure it out. I have to read the uh, data sheet on that. And I have right there an infrared switch. 
not really sure what it is, but it looks like it's infrared. It takes in infrared light. Yeah, simple fuse. Another type of fuse. Oscillating clock crystals. Those are actually very useful. Some miniature variable resistors. These, I actually have no idea what those are. They kind of look like a fuse, so I don't really know what they are, but I think they're a type of fuse or a resistor. Please leave in the comments down below and tell me what these are. I'm not really sure what these are. I think they're resistors or fuses. And these here, I think, are resistors. Um, they might be something else. I have to look it up, but those are really good and they could be very useful. And I have right here some basic resistors. And I have some high voltage resistors. They're made of uh, ceramic and those are very useful. Those are made of concrete and those are very useful to handle high voltage and high heat. Some high voltage diodes and a bunch of regular diodes. I can definitely use these to make uh, full bridge rectifiers or any other kind of circuit. And I have some push button switches. Those are also very good to have. I have a relay right here. Relays are also very useful. Definitely will use that in a future project. And I have right here an inductor or a small transformer. I have this here, which I think is an inductor, I'm not sure. A high voltage resistor. Those are extremely useful. Those can handle watts of power. They're like these, but these can handle high heat and resistance, but this can handle wattage, and this can handle a lot more power. 5 watts is actually much higher than these being only 2 watts. So this is actually very, very useful. Definitely going to keep that and use that for a future project. And I have right here a little transformer. These high voltage transistors. This one here in particular. And then I have right here some basic MOSFETs and transistors. A small integrated circuit. And I have all these electrolytic capacitors. These electrolytic capacitors are extremely useful. All values between 1 microfarad to 5,000 microfarads. Capacitors are always very useful for all kinds of things, so I'm glad to just collect all of these. And then I have right here these ceramic capacitors. All these ceramic capacitors are also very useful and very good to have. And, th and then right here, that one and that one, are all high voltage capacitors. This one has three leads. I'm not really sure what that one does. And then I have this one here. I'm not really sure what that is. I think it's a capacitor. And then I have this one that has five leads. I'm not sure what that one does. And I have right here some high voltage resistors. These high voltage resistors are better than the other resistors. These ones can actually handle more heat and higher voltage. These can be very, very handy. And then I have these little whatever they are. I think they're the same thing as what's above. I just misplaced them. And there you have it. A teardown of a CRT TV. And salvaging for all of the useful components and parts be able to use for future projects. So there you have it. Thank you for watching SciTai Tech. I hope you learned something new and don't forget to like and subscribe for more SciTai Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.